Hi, Robin. Is something wrong? Everything is wrong. In fact, I can't imagine anything will be right again. And it's all my fault. What happened? I can't tell you. It's too awful. Come on, Robin. It can't be that bad. Oh, yes, it can. It's terrible. Horrible, even. But if you must know, I... I... I miss the bloody bludger! I miss the bludger, which then hit our chaser, causing them to drop the quaffle instead of scoring the goal that would have given us a 150-point lead. I'm sorry, Robin, but 140 points is still a big lead, isn't it? Sure, as long as the opposing seeker doesn't catch the snitch, because your teammate tried to cut across the pitch to help and instead knocked your own seeker off course. Oh, that is rough. But it's not your fault. How is it not my fault? Well, it's not entirely your fault. I mean, it's a team sport, right? Yes, and my team hates me. I'll never be happy again. My life is ruined. That's why I came to Hagrid. I thought maybe he could feed me to a blast-ended screw. I deserve it. Oh, don't be so dramatic. I'm sure Hagrid will have something to cheer you up. Come on, let's go. What's the matter, Hagrid? You look almost as miserable as me. Oh, it's them ready gnomes. Been burrowing under the garden, chewing on the roots and putting holes in the pumpkins. Can't even tell till the damage is done. Those little terrors. That's not how you carve a pumpkin. Is there anything we can do to help? Yeah. I used to clear out the gnomes in our garden at home all the time. In fact, I bet it's a lot like taking out your frustrations on a bludger. Might be good practice. All right, then. I'll leave you to it. And just remember, they're more troublesome than they look. Galloping Gorgons! You took care of them gnomes in no time at all. Well done. Oh, it was nothing, Hagrid. Yes, we're just happy to help. I appreciate it. Oh, wait, you were coming to see me, weren't you? Did you say something about feeling miserable? I was feeling a bit down, but it turns out taking on a horde of gnomes was exactly what I needed. I should be thanking you. Oh, well, uh, you're welcome, I suppose. And if they ever come back, let us know. I can always use the practice. Daniel, are you here to visit Hagrid? Shh, keep your voice down. I'm just, uh, looking for something. Oh, what'd you lose? I can help you find it if you like. Hmm, an extra pair of eyes would be helpful. All right, you're in, but I didn't lose anything. I'm brewing a new potion, and there's one ingredient I still need, but, well, it only grows in the Forbidden Forest. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Two first years trying to sneak into the Forbidden Forest? I thought you'd know better. Entering the forest all on your own, what are you thinking? Um, that it'd be okay if you went with us? And hang on, that's not what I was saying. It's true, of course, but look, I was trying to warn you and... And keep us safe, 
right? Not so thoughtful, Hagrid. So, you'll come with us then? Oh, well. Only because I need to check on something myself. Suppose a quick look couldn't hurt. What exactly do you have to check on? None of your business. All right, follow me. And stay close. And do exactly what I tell you. I know it's dark, but try to keep your spirits up, eh? And remember what's most important. What's that, Hagrid? Well, courage, of course. You need plenty of that in the Forbidden Forest. Now, experience helps some. Skill, uh, definitely. And, uh, oh, past adventures is worth remembering, too. Put them together, and that's what makes you stronger. <laughs> oh, and, uh, you best throw in a bit of caution, too. Uh. That's rule number one of the Forbidden Forest. Right. Ready to take that first step? Sounds like a bird. I wonder what kinds of birds there are in the Forbidden Forest. I don't see what the big deal is. It's just a forest. It's quite unnerving, though. Isn't it? And dark. Nope. Not in there. What are you looking for, Hagrid? Oh, well, nothing to worry about. Just, uh, something for class. Um, uh, Hagrid? Hey, you found her. Oh, look how big she's gotten. Ain't she beautiful? She looks angry, Hagrid. Look out! Thought you said that thing was harmless. Mostly, yeah. Unless, of course, that's why she ran off. She must have a nest around here. She's just protecting her babies. Come on, let's have a look. It's quiet, but quiet doesn't always mean that rustling sound is putting my nerves on end. It's quiet, but quiet doesn't always mean safe in the forest. Hmm. I don't remember these being here. Hagrid, are these spider webs? That they are. Weren't made by just any spiders, neither. These are the work of giant spiders. Acromantula. Not the friendliest lot. Until you get to know them, of course. Misunderstood, really. I'm sorry, Hagrid, but I don't want to get to know a giant spider. Too late! Hagrid, what is that? Limey? It's an alchemy egg. I was right, she is a mum. That's why she was so mad. Great, let's go. No, you stay here. Safer that way. I won't be gone long. I mean it. Don't move. Not till I get back. Smell something burning. <laughs> what was that? 
I don't know. Something big. Keep going. All right, then. I should have known you'd do exactly what I told you not to. Come on. Let's get you back before the headmistress notices two more students are missing. I'll never do it again. I promise. Me too. I'm sorry, Hagrid. Oh, it's not your fault. Shouldn't have left you alone like that. Let's get you back before the headmistress notices two more students are missing. you're brewing, Daniel. Oh, <laughs> you'll find out soon enough. Come on, let's get started. And there you have it. One perfectly brewed potion. One sip, and you're destined for a very bad hair day. Which accomplishes what, exactly? I don't know. Just a bit of fun, I guess. You could drink it before a dance, maybe. You'd be the center of all attention, if you're into that sort of thing. So, we risked our lives in the Forbidden Forest for this? Oh, go on. Take a sip. I want to see what happens. doing in the corridor? Having a party. What does it look like? A party? Ugh, she's being sarcastic. We've all had things stolen from us. Someone nicked my potion bottle not five minutes ago. And someone stole the silver teacup my grandmother gave me. And someone was rude enough to steal my jewelry box. Hmm, I don't see what anyone would want with all of those. Unless, they're all rather shiny, aren't they? 
What if it wasn't a person, but a Niffler? I'm sure it's a Niffler. This is Hogwarts. Who would steal anything here? Hmm. I hate to admit it, but you might be right. If Daniel's potion bottle was recently taken, I bet the Niffler is still nearby. I'll look around and see what I can find. that big oaf Hagrid and hunt it down. I think that's a little extreme. We could always try luring it out with something it likes. Great idea. It left behind all these gold coins. I bet it wants them back. What if we piled them outside and waited for it to return? I know just the spot. We can set them outside the dueling club and surround it when it appears. Let's do it. Cassandra, are you in? This will never work. I'll come up with a better plan on my own. Thanks. If you insist, just don't hurt it. Ivy and I can take the coins and set them up. Since it's already encountered you, it might run if it sees you. Good point. I'll meet you there in a little bit. Good luck! What are you doing to that poor Niffler? I thought you didn't want to help us. Uh, I don't. I just want my stuff back as fast as possible. So, I hunted it down, and now I'll be getting my stuff back. By force, if necessary. Don't! You might hurt it. That's its fault. It should have known better than to take my things. take three of them on my own. But maybe I'm not alone after all. What's happening here? I thought we were meeting outside the dueling club. We were, but I saw Cassandra trying to trap the poor Niffler and had to help. I feared as much. We came the moment we heard dueling. Are you okay? I'm fine, and so is our little friend here. Here, it gave me all your things back. Even yours, Cassandra. Hmm, I still think my plan was better. That just leaves us with one more problem. What do we do with the Niffler? Maybe we could take care of it in turns, so it can't get into trouble again. No way. That's too much work. I don't think I can either. Trying to make potions would be too dangerous with it around. Too many shiny things. Me neither, I'm afraid. It just feels like too much responsibility. What if it went missing under my watch? <laughs> well then, looks like you're under my can, Niffler. Come on, let's see if I can keep you out of mischief. I 
hear that the professor will be teaching us about boggarts today. A boggart? What kind of beast is that? It's not a beast, actually, but a non-being. It transforms into whatever frightens a person most. Nobody knows what it truly looks like, which makes it even scarier. Welcome to Defense Against the Dark Arts. Here I'm going to introduce you to the mysteries of dark creatures. Today we are going to study the boggart. Do you see that rattling water? There's a boggart in there. It can take on the form of your worst fear. The charm that combats a boggart is the boggart banishing spell. Let us first practice the incantation without our ones. Repeat after me. Ridiculous. Inside this cupboard is a boggart. Who is ready to have a go at vanquishing it? That'll be Lottie Turner and uh, you. Excellent. Well, take your positions. One's at the ready. Oh, it's just a boggart. It's not real. It's not real. Lottie, you're doing great. Mental looks so real. I feel all the joy being sucked away. You can do this, Lottie. It isn't a real Dementor. It's just a bucket. I need to think of my happiest memory. Think. No, oh, it's. N well done, Lottie. Look, it's working. It's confused. It's working. Go on, you know what to do. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> Fantastic. Lottie, you did it. It looks so real. You did such a good job. Thanks for your help. You didn't really need it. You bested it with your own skill. Next time I'm facing a boggart, I hope you're nearby. Thanks for watching.